Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I hope you enjoy this super simple recipe for cheesy potatoes. The first thing that I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 350 degrees. And these are the types of potatoes that I use. They're hash browns, but they're not the super, like the grated ones that are really, really thin. These are a little bit bigger as you see. It's a 32 ounce bag and we're going to use the whole bag. And it's really important to thaw the potatoes for at least an hour before you start to work with them. That will help the dish cook more evenly. So just get a big bowl and dump all of your potatoes into the bowl. As you can see again, these are a little bit bigger than like the Orida ones that you can get. Um, I just like to work with these. So the next thing to do is grab a can of cream of chicken soup. This one is cream of chicken with herbs. Um, this was the first time that I actually used this. I usually use just plain cream of chicken, but it worked really good. You could also just use a cheddar cheese soup, um, anything like that. So. I am going to go ahead and mix it and I mix everything one by one as I add it to make sure it's evenly incorporated. Then I'm going to add about a tablespoon of Dijon mustard. You can use yellow mustard. This is just what I had on hand or you can just completely skip this step. I really like the way it tastes in the potatoes and it works really well with the chicken soup. So just kind of eyeball it and throw in about a tablespoon and then mix it. The next thing we'll need is a 16 ounce container of sour cream. So add that in next and then go ahead and mix that so it's evenly distributed. You can certainly add all of these things all at once and then mix it. I just like to do it one by one. And then we need a 16 ounce bag of sharp cheddar cheese. You can use mild if you want. I just like the way sharp cheddar tastes in the dish. And we're going to add about three quarters of the bag into the mixture. I save the other quarter of the bag for at the end when I top the potatoes with cheese. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So add your cheese and then mix it all together. And if things are looking a little bit dry, you can go ahead and add some more mustard, some more sour cream, and then grab a big baking dish and dump everything in there. And it doesn't need to be greased on the bottom or anything because the sour cream <clears throat> and the cheese and stuff will not allow it to stick to the pan. And then you just wanna smooth it over so it looks really nice in there, um, pretty. It'll look pretty when you present it. You don't want it to look super chunky or anything like that. The next thing to do is to throw it in the oven for about an hour and this is what your finished product is going to look like. This is going to feed, this would be a good casserole for like Thanksgiving, Christmas, things like that. It feeds a lot of people. It goes a long way. As you can see, there's melted cheese on top of it. Like I said before, I don't add it right away when I first put it in. I add it about 10 minutes before it's done cooking. Otherwise, it can burn on the top or it can end up being a little bit too crunchy. So about 10 minutes before it's done cooking, just go ahead and add the rest of the bag of cheese on. And this is what your final product looks like. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you try it out. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know if you do. I love hearing from you guys. Thanks again.